welcome back, you beauties. Thank you so much for rejoining the conversation because it's going to get a little bit spicy right now as uh, we join the world of entertainment. Yep, do a deep dive into what our celebs have been getting up to. And Dylan, aka Wade, has very kindly offered to stick around um, and um, maybe guide us through uh, some of these headlines because he has a perspective. And we're going to start with this one. Um, and it's big in the social media space. The TikTok community has lost a shining star, Kylie Marissa Roth, who made a name for herself on the platforms by sharing celebrity gossip videos. She has sadly passed away due to unknown circumstances. And her sister, Lindsay Roth, shared on social media that she was only 36 years old. She had a vibe. She had a massive following. Um, this is absolutely awful. And I think why it really hits with social media is because it's not just a big gap between them and their market. It's one-on-one -on -one interactions. It's the kind of relationship that you build over time. So when a, a TikTok star is lost, the, the followers, the people who have been diving into her content, they feel it, man. Um, you, you're nodding your head here. This is, this is quite a thing. Yeah. Um, did you have perspective on her? Uh, not not her. necessarily her, but um, it definitely came across my feed, mm. um, being on TikTok quite, quite, quite often. Quite a lot, yeah. Um, it came across and I was like, snap. And then that made me deep dive into her content, which was, which was very big. I think a lot of people love gossip, myself too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> love, especially so, when it's dressed up like that, where it's fun. Yeah, yeah. And, and I think because it's so accessible to just find out all these news that you want to learn about from her, I think that's a big loss for, for, for not just information given to us, but also for our family as well. For sure. Yeah, definitely. Awful, man. Well, we have a soft spot for our next individual rapper and singer and a tie to South Africa, Doja Cat. She returned to the Coachella Valley Music and Arts Festival this year as she started off her artsy set by singing on a podium behind the soundboard at the main Coachella stage in a white hazmat suit. Now, she <laughs> then transitioned to a performance that was led by five male singers of South African a cappella group, The Joy, who also dressed in white. And this revealed a huge nuclear power plant setting on the Coachella stage. But let's take a look at what wow, I'm talking geez. about. Wow. Yes. yes and yes and yes. You know what I love about South African artists who put other South African artists. Now I'm going to say South African because there, yeah. Doja Cat is Amala Ratna Zandile Tlamini. Sisiwa Diago Tala. You know that she's ours. <laughs> yes. Okay? Yes. So what, what I will say is that it's great that when they put everybody else on the map. For sure. Because now I picture the joy going on to the, the different types of talk shows, the Kelly Clarks and shows, etc. Uh, and it's, and, it's and now short... developing them too. For sure. One little moment. And I think it's important for South African artists Put people on the map as yeah. often as you can. Share in your platforms and spaces and show South Africa, you know, and South African talent everywhere you go. Create a movement. Yeah, that's to. what's happening. Uh, and we've seen it in other pockets where, where there is so much focus on certain elements of African music at the moment. There's a reason why we're creating a movement around. But you know what I love about this? How effortless they make it seem. Now, there mm. are going to be people sitting in America looking at the, thinking about these guys being this big production that was created. That's how they roll every single yes. day, yo. The joy are on the map. We love it. Yes, man. Oh, uh, man. So let's do our part to, to put out that South African energy right now. And South African actor, Corsi and Gemma, who is now demonstrating that she is more than just an actress. And uh, Dylan, we're going to come to you with a question here now. <laughs> uh, Katie Singh. Uh, she's dead debuted her single called Why, where she revealed her talents as a singer and a songwriter as well. Let's take a little listen. school old 
old soul, new talent. We love it. Um, and being a performer, I think she was hypercritical of her work, um, while a lot of people are certainly giving it a massive amount of acclaim. And she is well aware that she needs uh, to be realistic about her expectations. Um, but sure, that's how you do it, man. Mm, that's going to be on our show soon. So mm. you know what's going to happen. But uh, from your side... I Can mean... you sing? <laughs> yes, I was, I was just about to ask that, Graham. I, mean, that's, I was about to ask, but uh, this okay. is somebody that you worked with before, of course, right? Yeah, so... yeah. Uh, we are well, we well, we call ourselves twins because we are 24 hours apart. Oh wow! Uh, yeah, That's but it's awesome. like 24 hours, in the same 24 hour yes. span. Um, and what was nice for me, especially when she released, is I actually cried because I remember our first convert, the script reading of like season one. Oh man! And we sat next to each other. We both were shy, and she was like. Um, I also do music, and we and I told her I do karate, and a whole conversation <laughs> sparked by her once. And I remember making a commitment to her. I said, if you ever need me to to choreograph a music video, I'm there. And? So when I saw the, oh, she didn't tell me it. Oh, so, <laughs> <laughs> He's still waiting. She's been found out. I'm still so waiting. Out. Um, but when I saw her releases, I was so happy for because I knew it's been coming, and this was yeah. like 2018, 2019 when we had that convo. Oh, so man. to see it now. Yeah. Okay, well, I need to yeah. ask you, hearing that soulful <laughs> song, if you had to direct a music video, what kind of choreography would go with that type of song? Oh, snap. Um, the, first, the first thought that comes to mind for me personally is Ed Sheeran thinking out loud. Okay. But obviously oh, with the, the twist... Dancing. Back to your what? ballet days. Yes. yes. Ah. But with, with much more darker tones, I know they wear white in, in the music video, so with darker tones to add the vintage vibe. Oh. Um, and almost like in a, in a, not necessarily a bar, but a disco. Ah. Taking it back there, and it's just, just the female performing, and the guy Thanks, seeing her, and then smoky. I this is like good. It. A solo. Hey. I like yeah. that vision. So yeah, that's my. Look at just... you go. With... Yes, like of course, are you watching right now, girl? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I think you got the job. I think you got yeah. the job, man. Hey, <laughs> oh. and she hasn't officially done the music video, so I think you can do it. I hope so. <laughs> Happening oh. soon. <laughs> Well, we are talking about local. Mm. The countdown is on for the highly anticipated annual Metro FM Awards that is set to take place this month, the 27th of April at 8 p.m. on SABC One. And it is creating buzz and excitement in the entertainment streets. Proverb and Loot Love have been announced as the hosts for this year's award show. Now, this is Loot Love's first award show, and we all know Brother Pro is no stranger to the <laughs> stage, as he is, and it was an honor to host the awards this year. Now, stay tuned, as your Feel Good Breakfast show will also be there to capture some behind-the-scene moments. Of course, we love award shows, but it is just so incredible to see the South African talent on display like this. Oh, yeah, and you know, there's more talent with the, these awards as well, because there's a certain green room host mm. that we happen to work with, Zanella Patalma. Mm. So oh, really? it's going to be absolutely amazing to see Zanella slaying once again. Uh, well, it is, She's it's, eating. It's, it's her season. She's it eating. Is. It is her season, man. <laughs> I love the fact, and I'm going to continue to claim it, that she was discovered on that couch. No, she wasn't. She's been <laughs> working a, a, a long time um, to achieve this all on her own, but there was a moment in this studio yes. where I think we saw, uh, we did where see. the rest of the country saw, okay, hang on a minute, this girl has got it. You also got it, kid. Oh, snap. You're I a special do. one, brother. You really <laughs> are you so just much. so awesome, authentic, and wonderful. Just keep being you, boo. We love Thank you, kid. You so oh, Thank well, you. listen. Thank you so much once again for having me.